Hey guys, what's going on? Sean is here. Welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on building landing pages. And I'm going to explain how you can build your landing pages quickly. All right. So um, let me explain um, what I do when it comes to landing pages. So because in my case, my history is a bit different with landing pages. So when I started about uh, five years ago, five and a half years ago, um, I started the lead pages. And then actually I found about uh, then a, a couple of years later, later um, ClickFunnel came in and I found out about ClickFunnel. So I moved on to ClickFunnel, but still I use lead pages for different things because it was such a hard thing to move uh, like hundreds of th th hundreds of pages from click lead pages to ClickFunnel. So, so I still have my stuff on ClickFunnel uh, on lead pages and I have my ClickFunnel account too. I use it for different stuff. So. Um, in this video, for the uh, purpose of this video, I'm going to go with ClickFunnels and I'm going to do a tutorial on ClickFunnels. And the reason I'm doing a tutorial on ClickFunnels is because it's a really good option uh, for beginners, especially if you're starting up. It's, it's, it's a good option, okay? It's, you, it's, it gives you a lot of features, much more features than just lead pages. Because lead pages is just a uh, landing page software, a landing page software. But uh, ClickFunnels is much more than that. It's going to give you everything you need to build a full website and landing pages, which is just absolutely amazing. And a, a lot of features that comes in in ClickFunnels are premium features on lead pages. So you have to pay more on lead pages to get them. But in ClickFunnels, you, in ClickFunnels, you can just get them um, with your account. So, um, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go over the dashboard in ClickFunnels, and then I'm going to go and create a simple landing page in front of you all right so let's get started so the first thing is obviously the dashboard so this is the quick um, review of the dashboard so if the first thing you're going to see is called funnels this is where you can see a list of your funnels you know contacts uh, these are emails that you've collected and sales uh, basically uh, your sales and yeah so the, the first thing is the browse funnels basically you see all of your funnels. if you're if you have a brand new account um, you're not going to have all of them you're gonna have some simple um, simple uh, examples you know sample examples but then that's pretty much it okay so the second thing I'm going to talk about is action and um, this is a cool thing this is basically an email marketing uh, type of um, feature inside ClickFunnels so you uh, you I, I haven't used this I don't use this in my business because I use Infusionsoft and Averbear but uh, basically what you do is you uh, in integrate, integrate Action Analytics with a bunch of different uh, email marketing softwares and it allows you to send emails, um, it allows you to use triggers and send emails based on you know, your user, user's behavior, your lead's behavior. So it's pretty much like triggers. I've talked about triggers a lot, but yeah, so it's like that and it's a really cool uh, feature. I've actually seen it in work and it's really interesting, but I personally do not use this. And Backpack is basically for building uh, fleet softwares and fleet networks and all of that stuff and also membership websites, which is really cool. And again, it gives you features, but I personally do not use it. So uh, the first thing you want to do when you, when you go to ClickFunnels, you go to integration and add your email marketing software to it. Okay, integrate your email marketing software, whatever you use. Uh, you just have to integrate it with them. It's it really easy actually. Um, the thing is, uh, it actually supports most of email marketing platforms, so you you're gonna be able to integrate a lot of different softwares with them. So, so you just click on Add New Integration and just choose the integration type. Okay, so just find whatever you want to find. So it's really cool, super super simple, nothing complicated. So just go back to funnels. And let's start building a simple landing page. In order to do that, all you got to do is just click on Add New. And you need to choose the type of funnel you want to build. Okay, so um, in general, you can build three different funnels, different types of funnels. But uh, it really doesn't matter because you can add uh, multiple steps to it. And it's not like something that you have to choose. Okay, so for example, you can choose... Uh, to build a uh, e build a funnel that collects email, but at the end you can sell something. So it really is not that important. But just choose something that's just closest to you, uh, your funnel. Okay. So in this case, we're just gonna uh, do uh, collect emails. Okay. So give it a name. I'm just gonna call it test eighty eight, and click on build funnel. And that is gonna take you to 
the funnel page okay this is where you set up your funnel so the first thing is this section is your funnel steps okay so this is where you see your funnel steps the first step is opt-in and the second step is thank you page right so you get the email uh, you I capture the email and you show them a thank you page or if you want to show if you want them to have if you want them to download something or something like that uh, you can uh, put your you know links inside the thank you page or you can put your links inside your email it depends on how you want to uh, pass the information so the first step is choosing a uh, landing page okay so let's choose one I'm gonna choose for example this one and also you can preview them by the way okay so you can just click on the button under that one to kind of preview it so one one thing that is really cool in ClickFunnels is that the a split testing feature comes um, with the software. Okay, so you don't have to purchase it as an upgrade uh, because in lead pages you have to actually purchase the split testing uh, feature. But what you can do is in ClickFunnels you can just split test each step of the funnel, which is really really nice. For example, if you let's say you create this page. Okay, I'm going to go to the editing part right now, but let's say you create this page and you want to test a different headline. So what you do is you click on, uh, let's close this, you click on create a va variation and you can either create a variation based on the page, based on what you already have, or you can create a completely different uh, page and test it. So if I just click on that, um, a completely different page for example it's going to allow me to choose different templates or again you can just choose the same thing okay you can just choose the same thing that you already have and change something really small in it so again it's based on what you really want to achieve here so um so yeah i'll, I'll do that after i edit this okay so in order to edit your page all you gotta do is just edit page click on the button here and go to edit the page and there's a lot of things to talk about when it comes to click funnels it's it has a ton of features, so it's, I'm not going to be able to uh, talk about all of them in this short video, but I'm just going to go over things that are really important. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to integrations from the settings section, and uh, you want to make sure you add your integration, whatever you use, okay? So um, if you've already integrated your email marketing software, you should be able to see it. So um, you just select the uh, software and select the form and whatever you want to do, okay? So yeah, and then when you select it, it's going to say connected here, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing I do is I change the headline and everything, okay? So just give it a headline, uh, description, and all of that stuff, okay? And you can start edit the page. So you can edit the headlines, and you can move things around. You can actually add sections too, okay? So you can... Pretty much this whole page is something you can edit, okay? So you can add uh, different columns, different elements, you know, different headlines. For example, I'm adding a sub-headline here. So let's say I want to change the color here. So I'm going to click on settings, and I'm going to change the text to white. Oh, actually, what happened? There you go. I think the whole thing was kind of transparent yeah so there you go so I see I added a text so what I can do is I actually can add um, rows too so if I click on the row it's gonna give me the options to add uh, like columns right so I'm gonna add two columns and then I can add multiple things maybe I, I want to add a bullet list or maybe I want to add a picture here Okay, so I'm just going to add an image. There you go. So again, you can just build anything you want using ClickFunnels. It's absolutely amazing and it's just really cool. And after you're done building it, just click save and you're good to go. Okay, so that's how you build, um, that's how you build your page. And this is the URL, by the way. Okay, so this is the URL. And you can also have this on your website. You can have it on a separate domain, however you want to show it you have the option to do that okay so there you go that's the page all right guys so the next thing i want to show you is creating different variations of a page so you can test which one works better so, okay so uh, it's really simple in ClickFunnels. 
all you gotta do is just create ver the variation. So this is the page that we just created. All you gotta do is click on this and then make sure that you are in the in the in the right step. Okay, so in this case, I'm just testing the variation for the opt-in page. So you click on create variation and you click on create duplicate page from opt-in. So this is basically gonna create the duplicate from the uh, from the page that you already have. You know the page that you already created and edited. Okay, so you just click on create duplicate. And it's gonna take you, it's gonna create a new page exactly same as the one, so you can start editing it, all right? So what you need to do is, uh, as you see, it's just gonna, gonna create a different variation. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you just click on edit page and you need to edit the page based on your um, test, okay? So let's go here and um, as you see, it's exactly the same thing, same form, same title, same everything. So let's say I want to edit the title and make it April uh, 7th. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so let's say that's the, ch that's the only change I want to do. Or let, uh, and I, so let me tell you something about uh, testing different pages, you know, A-B testing. What you want to do is you want to make sure you only test one variation. Uh, because if you test multiple variations at the same time, uh, it's going to really confuse you. For example, in this case, it's a good idea to, for me to only test a, a different headline. Okay, so if I want to change, uh, if I want to test a different uh, button, I need to do that another time. I need to do that after I finish the test with the headline. Okay, so don't try multiple um, different things at the same time. Generally, it's not a good idea to do that. Okay, so let's say I, that was my change, so I'm just going to click on save and save it, and that is good to go. So now I want to make sure I go back and, te and set up the uh, A-B testing, all right? So I'm just going to click on this icon. It's going to take me back to the funnel step. And the last thing you want to do is you want to make sure that how many, uh, what's the percentage of the traffic. So you want to, in this case, I'm going to do 50-50, okay? So basically what's going to happen is that 50% of traffic that comes to this link is going to go to uh, the main page and 50% is going to go to the next page, okay? So this is something, really, it's a really cool feature so you can uh, change, uh, change it and see which one works better. Um, so yeah, so usually I start with 50-50, so you just select 50-50 and apply. And that's pretty much it. All right, so now everyone who goes to this link is gonna see different different variations. Let me show you actually the example. Okay, so the first one is April 1st, the second one is April 7th. So let's open this page in a new tab. So, yep, yeah, so the first one, I'm assuming it's gonna take me to the first page. Yeah, there you go, so that's the April 1st. Now if I open the same page one more time, It's going to take into April 7th. So basically, it's, again, it's just testing different variations of the page to see which one works better. And it's going to show up the result here too. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Let me know if you have any questions regarding creating your uh, funnels. And by the way, I have a link to ClickFunnels under this video. So check out the ClickFunnel. If you want to sign up for it, you're going to get a 14 day, day free trial. So uh, check out the link in the description. Uh, go to click, click funnel and see it for yourself all right so thank you so much for watching this video guys let me know if you have any questions also like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos every single day i'll see you in the next video